In this short video, I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT in the Hebrew language. Now, whether you want the text on the page to appear in Hebrew or whether you want ChatGPT to give its output in the Hebrew language, this is the video for you because I'm going to walk you through everything in just a few minutes. Now, do you know that there is no official way to change the language to ChatGPT? As you can see, there's no settings option on the left hand side here, which means that ChatGPT is currently only available in English. However, I did find a little way around that. So. I am using Google Chrome on a Windows PC. So uh, if you're using a different device operating system or browser, the process might be a bit different for you, which is why I would recommend you to use Google Chrome, no matter what device or operating system you're using, because I'm not sure whether this trick works on any other browsers. So once you're on ChatGPT, simply right click anywhere on the screen, then go down to translate to, as you can see mine is already in Hebrew here. So the second I click this button, it will translate the entire page. And there you have it. Now to add the Hebrew to this list of languages here, if you don't have it already, click on the three dots, then click on choose another language and then click on the little arrow here and then find Hebrew from this massive list of languages, which is right here. Then click on done and it will automatically translate the page to Hebrew. Now, when it comes to actually getting output uh, in the Hebrew language, all you really need to do is simply talk to ChatGPT in Hebrew and it will detect the language automatically and just revert back to you in the same language. So I've gone ahead and copied the paste from Google, which is how are you in Hebrew? And I'm going to test it out and see what comes back. And within seconds, literally, uh, ChatGPT is already coming back to me with an answer in Hebrew. Now, do you know that sometimes you might get an error and if that's the case with you, simply refresh the page and then just try again and uh, it should work like normal. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please do go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help.